So let's go high level. Let's zoom out. Uh, what is a Live Local Act? What is like Florida trying to do here? Sure. Uh, Live Local Act is, is what's referred to as a, a, a law that's a preemption of local jurisdictions. And so preemption is something where let's and I've used it before in the past. You have to understand there are almost, I believe, 500 different municipal jurisdictions in the entire state of Florida. In the tri-county area, Miami-Dade, Broward, Palm Beach counties, there are over 100. Miami-Dade County alone, there are, you know, 35, 36, depends, literally depends on the day of the week. Some of them are as big as Miami-Dade County, which is the largest in the entire state. And then some are as small as uh, my high school, probably, or uh, smaller and only encompass 10 or or 12 city blocks. These are jurisdic- jurisdictions. These are, these, are, these are small municipal uh, jurisdictions. So you can imagine when you have a client that has uh, projects or, or has a business in multiple different jurisdictions just along, uh, just along the, the lines of Miami-Dade County, you can get interpretations on that impact your business from 30-something different um, groups of uh, lawmakers. So it becomes impossible and it becomes a little bit of whack-a-mole um, and after you go to your third or fourth jurisdiction and, you know, there are different um, municipal groups and municipal attorneys that talk and, you know, and, and so different things uh, uh, get brought up and then they get picked up by other jurisdictions as, as they, they progress. And so in certain instances like that, we'll go to Tallahassee and say, look, we need, we need some assistance here. We need some standardization of the law or we need you to step in and, and, and deal with this regulation here because it's really counterproductive to business and it's leading it's, it's leading to a lack of predictability and we need people to understand when they invest in Florida that they that there are certain parameters that we can abide by and so we'll go to we'll go to the state and say we need your help on this preemption and they'll create a law that says this is how this law will work and this the, 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 the right to regulate on this particular issue will be retained by uh, the state of Florida and then the local jurisdictions have to follow uh, that law. So the Live Local Act is born of, of that particular um, preemptive um, uh, law. And so in this instance, it was an issue of just incredible importance statewide. Uh, I'm sure this is not news to anybody, but the city of Miami has been consistently ranked as the least affordable uh, MSA in the entire United States. Um, obviously a problem. And so with an unprecedented problem, they got together to create a, um, I guess you can call it an unprecedented solution and create a very powerful tool that is specific to different jurisdictions. It still respects the specific jurisdictions, um, but at the same time is preemptive in the sense of saying this, these are the rules in the sandbox that you guys are going to operate in going forward because this is such a, a huge issue for us. Right. So basically at its most basic, it's the state trying to combat the unaffordability crisis. Yes. It, 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 basically from their level of the state, creating parameters on how projects that qualify that have an affordable housing component, how they will be regulated. COVID didn't help. COVID really uh, politically in the you know, national picture or even locally really segmented people on uh, opposite sides. There's a lot less opportunity for productive discourse in the middle. And that happens also in the development environment. When you want to reach out to neighbors and you want to talk to them about what the opportunities are, um, you know, you'll have, you know, I've had projects where neighbors will come and support the support what we're trying to accomplish. And, and for the most part, those are the younger families, people that want vibrancy, people understand they're committed to this, to their, their local community for the next, you know, 20, 30 years when they're, and the, the big thing we always talk about is when your kids go to college, are they going to come back to this town? And it could be a small town. And they'll say, I, I don't know. That's what I'm trying to do to make sure they come back to this town. And so we're trying to keep it vibrant, keep it relevant. So you have this perfect storm with technology and, and COVID and the affordability crisis that we have. And legislators took the opportunity to say, we need to step in and we need to understand this is an issue of statewide concern. Um, we have had incredible success, but along with success and growth within a short period of time, it really strains your infrastructure. 